it is me Ashley with Keller Williams real estate in Everett and today I want to do a quick video giving like a big sort of like plug to my new condo video series so I'm gonna be doing condo videos probably for the next month or so and I'm just gonna focus on what you need to know about a condo video um, if you are new to my channel welcome please like the video um, hit the subscribe button this is gonna be just I mean next level the best information ever on condos okay so why condos so the biggest thing you know the biggest motivation for me is, is that the condo market here in the Seattle area and even here where I really focus up in Everett is just on fire and you know I was I was looking at the numbers and I was doing some stats for example on like condo prices what's the availability of condos and I'm gonna give you a couple of numbers here okay so in the in the price range fifty thousand to one hundred thousand dollars in 2015 there were 67 units sold in contrast to 2017 which just closed out there were only four okay so the price the price point of just an Everett condo is going up like boom it's just exploding up okay and this is also happening in Seattle and other parts of the sort of like Seattle metro area you probably will see similar trends like sort of down in like the Beacon Hill area down in Tacoma and all of that okay and what's basically happening is is you're getting these big increases like the median price is not changing very much so that's like the average price um, so from 2015 it was two hundred and thirty three thousand dollars and then in 2017 that went up to two hundred and seventy six thousand dollars so there's a little bump there but you know there's a, a lot of like price range specific variability and those lower price points are just going away I mean you can see it you know basically I mean so so if there's four available in 2017 that are between 50,000 and 100,000 like that basically is probably not going to exist here in 2018 okay so you can't get a condo for that in Everett anymore um, so there's that the other pieces is, is that condos can be a really good strategy for getting your foot in the door into property ownership um, especially if you don't have a lot of money and you can't really qualify for much it's a good place to sort of start build some equity so that you're actually paying yourself and then take that condo put it on the market in five years say so that you can move into a single-family house if that's where you want to go um, so I mean it's it's awesome it's just becoming like sort of like the entry level for you know an entry level homeowner um, you know really small families are starting there um, you know even single people anybody anybody can sort of start at that level you get kind of like an entry-level condo build some equity for a few years flip that equity into a larger place if that's the way you want to go or even just a better condo um, so there's a lot of great options in my video series what I'm gonna cover is you know what is a condo first of all I'm gonna talk about why would you want to buy a condo maybe why wouldn't you want to buy a condo I'm also going to discuss um, information about um, understanding the condo finance documents understanding the CC and R's understanding the rules and regulations um, understanding the best um, strategies um, for how to sell your condo because here's the thing if, if your plan is to sort of start with a condo and then flip into a bigger property what you're really wanting what you really want to do is at the beginning when you make your purchase you're going to want to be thinking about okay how do I get out of this condo and what does that look like so you want to be able to, to purchase now but be thinking okay five years into the future this is how I'm gonna sell it this is where I think I'm gonna be roughly um, so that way you have a good idea of what your uh, in target is and your goal the other things that I want to cover um, that I think will help out people is you know what's the difference between owning a condo and owning a house what's the difference between owning a condo and say renting an apartment um, you know these are all questions that people have what's the difference between a co-op a condo and a townhome like are they are they different are they all the same um, are they e are all of them equally easy to get I mean you know this this will be all covered in this video series and I'm really excited I will also be um, reviewing three books so I'll be doing um, probably pieces of each of the books throughout um, I think that you know all three of them are really good they're all really good resources for people that are in the beginning stages of thinking about making a move towards a condo and then you know making that purchase um, you know because it really what you want to have is this knowledge I mean it's great you know you get a real estate agent to help you out but it's also nice just to kind of know things yourself because you know your real estate agent is really only gonna be with you for a short time and then 
um, you know, you're kind of on your own. You have to deal with like your HOA. Like maybe you're not sure. Maybe you're at the way beginning. You've never even heard of an HOA. So I'm going to cover that. What's the HOA? What are the responsibilities of the HOA? How can you participate more? How can you, you know, affect your living condition in your condo community? So that is my video. I'm really excited about this series. I'm going to, I'm going to pop it off and get it started like boom tomorrow. And um, I look forward to seeing you. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, follow me on Facebook and hit my website, ashleybolden.com. And I will see you again soon, YouTube.